Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Work continues on this um, Bali uh, Williams WPC89 MPU board. This is uh, the main heart of, uh, in this case, a Doctor Who pinball machine that I've been working on. And I'm still trying to diagnose what the problems are, and I've decided that I'm going to remove the memory chip. And I'm in the middle of the process of this. This was the RAM chip that went there. Now what I've done is instead of trying to keep the chip intact I use some very tiny precision cutters like this. This is designed for computer circuits and what I did was I cut the chip off of the board. So I went like this and I went clip, let's see, clip, 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 and I clipped the top off of every pin and then remove this and then I desoldered the bottom and the top, um, being very, very careful to not remove these tiny little eyelets here, that because these traces are very, very tiny. So if you look, you can see. You want to really do not want to damage those. Do not want to pull those little eyelets out. It's a very delicate procedure there. So what I'm doing is with my desoldering iron here. I'm pulling the little pins out off the top one by one. So here I'll take this guy right here and I'll heat it up. And then what I've done is I've pulled the tip out of it and it's stuck in the end of the uh, desoldering gun. So I'll pull it out here and see there it is. There's the little tip. I'll drop that right down, down right there. So I'm kind of doing these things little by little, very meticulously, not putting a tremendous amount of heat on the board, just a little bit at a time. So I'll hit the pin, let that solder melt a little bit, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go at an angle and pull out. And then I've got the, the little thing here, and I'll pull it out. So there's my little tip. There's a little tiny tip, which you probably can't see. So I'm one by one removing these little tiny pins. But I'm do it, doing it in such a way that I minimize any damage to the, uh, to the board. I don't want to put too much heat on it. I don't want to, I don't want to put too much stress either. So there we have it. So now with the pins removed I can use another tool this tool right here and this is a little teeny tiny little kind of uh, hole punch that I can I can carefully use to just make sure that all of these little holes are free and clear. And I'll hold it up to the light, try to see through it, and uh, I'll maybe hit, maybe hit the, the remaining ones since I know I've removed the pins from them, front and back, so I can kind of see which ones uh, need work and which ones don't. Make sure there's no extra little pieces missing, sticking. So there's, I see one little piece I didn't get right there. So I'll work on pulling that out. And uh, then we'll be almost done. What I don't want to do is try to pull this thing out while, um, without heat on it. Because if it's soldered to the uh, eyelet, and then I try to pull it out, I'll pull the eyelet off. And that eyelet is part of what makes contact here. So I want to be really, really careful about that. So I'm just, I'm taking, I'm, I'm being super careful. I'm making sure that I'm, I'm going over everything really, really smoothly and slowly. Do not want to damage any of these little teeny tiny traces. So with this out of the way, now what I'll do is I'll clean this up and uh, I'll put a socket in here 
and then we can put a regular memory chip, RAM chip, or we can put the new non-volatile RAM so that this board doesn't even need a battery in it. So this is what you could do. So to summarize, if you want to remove the RAM chip off of these MPU boards, you can you can try to desolder it and keep the chip intact. And this chip is worth about eight dollars or so, but you you really run the risk of damaging the board. And I like so what I do is I'll just cut the chip off. I'll just cut it off because it's, sometimes it's hard to get all the solder off. With the chip out of the way, you can see where you've got pieces of solder and where you don't, and you'll see where you need to work to make sure that it's really, really careful. So I'll sacrifice a chip to make sure that I don't damage the board, and then I'll just very carefully go over this, make sure it's all nice and smooth and clean and, and, and all the holes and everything line up. So uh, there you have it. I'm waiting for the chips to come in, so while I'm waiting, I'm going to clean this all up. I'm going to see if I've got a DIP28 socket for this and uh, maybe put the socket in. And then we'll, we'll socket this chip and that'll, that'll allow me to put the non-volatile RAM or the regular RAM in here. And we'll continue work on this board. So this is a, it's a very delicate job. You want to be really careful with uh, how you do it. But it can be very rewarding if you, if you manage to do it. Just remember, these boards are pretty precious. There's not a ton of them out there. So you want to take your time and be super super careful and there's older videos when I was much less experienced where I was uh, yanking on capacitors trying to pull them out of the board and pulling these eyelets off um, I learned my lesson there it's better to be really patient and take your time cut the component off and just mess with the little tiny leads that are sticking out and get a good look at, at what you're working on and make sure that you don't uh, damage any of this and you'll be much better off so Thanks for watching. For more, visit uh, pinballhelp.com. Catch me on Twitter, Twitter slash pinballhelp. And there's even a subreddit, subreddit.com slash r slash pinballhelp. And, of course, Facebook and everywhere else. Thanks for watching.